The closure of the Bow Water Sour border during the heat of Ebola posed a serious economic constraint and hardship which brought the involvement of youth into that bridge more than as a means of surviving. But today, how do they feel since ED the border is open? Jebel Kamara, Massa, Sony and McLean family, youth of Bow Water Sour. I'm Jebel Kamara. The time the border was closed, I think you came here and asked what we were doing. We told you that we were making breaks. We used to make that breaks if people can they want contract will be there. I will be made a place to give it to them, they pay off. But now, since they open the border, then we are planning to do our work. So, some people that are more going to school, we divide the money, the money that we make. We divide the money, some money that the students will give it to them, they are going to school. So, the later one that left, we pay our children small, small school fee. The other one, they give it to who the two women are more than, they give it to the bosses, because how have they give it to all our city now, since the border open. Because the bracelet is not going again, because the bracelet is racist and coming. So the person going in, so we now lead all the thing along. Small, small thing we do now, selling our rest in the market, how can say. So my master said me once more. So for the business, people are talking about the breaks that we were moving. After we got you selling it, we pay some, we are watching when school fees, they didn't want to remain. They bought six bears for two of us, I was selling it. And the business said the way it used to go before, before the Ebola crisis, it's not going like that because the money business is going slowly. Money being hard now? Yeah. Look at the camera. Breaks money. We'll get about 15,000. But you, as you people, we are seeing we're many. Uh -huh. So we divide some, we're not having food, we buy some school stuff. Me and my partner. No, the men are sorry for us because we're only two there, they gave us 3,000. Breaks that we're more than there. Yeah. We're more than 46. Business, the way we're improving in business, not like that this time because money business is very hard. It's going slow, but stay we can sell one bell like that. One Saturday, our market we can sell. In a one bear or one and a half. But like for the first time, we used to sell three to five bags a finish. Yeah, yes. we pay 1,600. No good profit, at least when we sell it, we can get 100 or 150. We, we sell 25 dollars. Yeah. The problem we're facing, we want more market but no money. Like the only problem we're facing, we don't, we don't have financial. Try on a donor, and let's say to the donor to come help us with few, even when I loan sale, we can take it, we start doing our business to sustain our life and pay our children. Um. Mecklen Formula, the youth chairman of Bowater Sa. The situation on ground is like, let's say, 45 percent all right as compared to the previous stage during the state of emergency. We facing a lot of difficulties if we come to finding food for our family members. But now, at least we have free movement. You know, we go and there. We interact with our people across the river, so at least that alone brings satisfaction to us. Even though things are not hundred percent okay, but at least you know the young people in this community. Mainly, we involve, like we said the last time, we always most of the drastic in time we involve in the contract making. We used to make contract like uh, brace molding. We have our group set up for that specifically. The little form we raised during that time, we now use that form, we distributed among those women that are with us, we give it to them for them to be selling, and then our little brothers and sisters that are with us, we try to, you know, generally, we contributed toward their schooling. Also speaking, Mr. Musa Sonin, the acting chief collector of the Liberia Revenue Authority at the Bow Water border, says there is a little improvement in the revenue collection. The Ebola crisis, since the reopening of the border, things have been a little bit better with the screening and the entry and post going in and coming within the border. Right now, our constraint has to do with, you know, when border were closed, most of the citizens along the border found other means to get out and to come in. So, and you know, the way things can, in Liberia at times, the way things can go up, I mean, to come on back is kind of difficult. So, the difficulty part of it is that. We are not many when it comes to custom now, but at least the, the immigration guys are there at the overall border entry. But they are, it's that kind of difficult thing because 
most of the poor already finished getting adjusted to passing to the road bypass it instead of them coming here so like every now and then they will they are being arrested bringing it over the best we can tell them is that look my friend you have no near you passing through the bushes again the border is now open you don't have to be afraid come they will not do your temperature if your temperature is high they will put you aside you wait in order to take calm down meanwhile poor waterside deputy commissioner momo sambula says they have been abandoned by the county leadership Mr. Sambula says vocational education is highly needed in the Bull Watersa community for the empowerment of youth. The young people, they are hardworking young people in this community. I think you're second test. So what do they need? 